Hi, praise the Lord. Let's hop in, let's hop in, let's hop in, let's hop in for another time in God's presence and let's just hear from the Lord in Jesus mighty name. Father, we thank you. Father, we give you praise. Father, we honor you. Father, we exalt your holy name. Be exalted, be lifted, mighty redeemer. We give you praise, Master Jesus. We honor you, O God. Thank you for such an opportunity you've given unto us, O Father, to be in your presence. We are careful to honor you, O God. We are careful to give you praise. Somebody, as you join in, just share. Uh, we thank God we just had a very powerful service and uh, such a powerful deliverance service we had in church. And um, I'm just, you know, excited by what God is doing. And in every matter, we are very careful to give all the glory and honor to Jesus. Uh, and so tonight, I just want us to have a moment in God's presence and uh, lift up his name and adore him for his worthy to be praised. We began a topic and uh, we have seen God deliver people today in church. In case you missed that teaching, I will refer you to our page. Uh, go back to our our. our our page, our Facebook pages, uh, Pastor Steve Omodex, this particular page, go to Pastor Grace, go to Faf TV Network, go to Folama, and on our, on our YouTube as well, and get that teaching very, very enlightening. And because of the magnitude of God's outpouring and uh, what God did in the service, I couldn't finish that teaching, and I need to finish that right now. And so God bless you as you join in. God bless you. God bless you. Hadassah, God bless you, Martin. As you log in, just let me know. Just comment so that I can be able to know who is logging in. Uh, in Jesus' mighty name. Glory to God, glory to God, glory to God. Father, we worship you. Father, we give you praise. Father, we honor you. As you join in, just let me know where you are watching from. And uh, comment. War against opposing names. Let us get blessed in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Join in, join in, join in. Patricia, God bless you. Hallelujah. Father, we love you. Father. We give you praise. Amy, Sir Martin, God bless you. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Amen. I want us to have a moment. Let's just pray and then get into the word of God. Father, in your mighty name, we give you praise and we honor you. You are worthy to be praised. You deserve all the glory. You deserve all the honor. And this night, Father, I pray that there, there will be clarity. And even as you speak to your people, it is my prayer that their lives will never remain to be the same again. It is my prayer that you will continue, Father, to speak to our hearts and reveal even deeper things that we don't even know. But above all things, may you be exalted. May you be the center of the focus of this teaching. Because, Lord, no any other foundation can any man lay apart from that which you laid. And so this hour, we surrender to the altar at Calvary that on that altar you said it is finished. Let there be understanding and clarity on what you have done in our lives. In Jesus' name. And somebody said amen. Glory to God. Thank you, Ruth, Adek. Thank you, Pauline. Thank you. Amen. We began a teaching on powers or dealing war against opposing names. And uh, this is a very powerful teaching. I pray that you take keen attention to everything I will say tonight. And we're going to have some time to pray together. And I believe by the time we are done, God will do that which only he can do in your life. In Jesus' mighty name. We, for those of you who are joining in now, I want you to understand the teaching is already out there. The previous session I just had and last week. So take time and go and dig in that. But for the sake of just catching up, we are dealing with war against opposing spirits. And you have said oppo opposition is any form of resistance 
any dissenting opinion that is uh, uh, always manifesting or expressing in, in, in action or in argument, right? And we have also talked about um, a resistance opposition as a form of contrast or antithesis where you find hostility, you find conflict, you find clashing, you find antagonism, and you find a difference. And we know from scripture, John 10, 10, the Bible says the enemy comes to steal, kill, and destroy. But Jesus comes that you and I can have life and life in abundance. That sets you in the motion to understand that the enemy will always oppose the move of God. And that is why you begin to realize as you grow in matters faith, as you grow in matters of the spirit, you'll begin to realize that, that the agenda of God will always, um, God is always about advancement. God is always about advancing his people, taking them from one glory to another. Second Corinthians 3.18, as we uh, unveiled our faces, uh, we behold as in the mirror, we are being translated or transformed from one glory to another, even uh, to the image of his son Jesus by the spirit of God. And so God is always in the business of advancing men from glory to glory. But what the enemy does, he tries to impede. In other words, he tries to bring opposition. And, you know, we look in the Bible, every great person or any person that is born of the Spirit and we're born of God, born of God and born of the Spirit, you will need to understand that the moment you came to the kingdom of God, the moment you said yes to Jesus, the moment you gave your life to Jesus, you actually entered into a kingdom of warfare. One thing that you need to understand is that you are anointed to be offensive. You are anointed to be offensive. And I'll explain what I say, what I mean by that. You are anointed to be offensive to the kingdom of darkness. And that is why the Bible says in Luke chapter 18, verse number one, men ought always to pray. The, Paul tells us many times, admonishes us, that I commend to the grace of God and to the power of his might. God wants to commend you to his grace. I mean, Paul wants to be commended to the grace of God, which is able to uphold you, to able, able to teach you in all parts of righteousness. That means that any kind of opposition that comes against you, you are able to rise above it. Now watch this very closely. Paul says that a great and effectual door has been opened unto me, but there are many opposing voices. Every time God opens a door to advance the kingdom of God, the enemy will always arise to attack the advancement of the kingdom of God. But Jesus said this to Simon Peter, that Simon, Simon, behold, Satan has desired to sift you like wheat, but I prayed for you that your faith may not fail. Why? Because Satan has sought for permission to sift you like wheat. In other words, Satan wants to fight you. If he gets any opportunity, he wants to oppose you. He wants to fight you. But one thing I'm praying is that regardless of what happens, your faith in God must remain standing. So from that standpoint, we looked at a number of things. One of the things that bring opposition is what I will call, uh, what I will call accusations. And one of the things every believer, every servant of God, every child of God must be able to fight in their lives is what I call opposition. Praise the name of Jesus. I mean, what I call op opposition through accusations. Because the moment you are accused, remember Revelation chapter 12 talks about the accuser of brethren. Six, day and night, whom to accuse. So if you, if, if you are in the kingdom of God, you need to fight any form of accusation that the enemy may try to label against you. Praise be unto God's name. So this is very critical and I pray that God will help you to understand. Let us look at Isaiah chapter 5 verse number 20. Isaiah chapter 5 verse number 20. Isaiah 5 20. The Bible says, Woe unto them that call evil good and good evil. That is a paradoxical a statement. Woe unto them. Woe unto people that call evil good and good evil. There, there, are, there are people that in this world, no matter what you do, take this carefully. No matter what you do, no matter what you say, no matter what you stand for, there are people who will never appreciate you, they will never love you, they will never support you, but they will watch closely, waiting for an opportunity where you can fall for them to talk. We are living in a very negative world, a toxic world, where social media has broken boundaries. Today, people can abuse their elders on social media. People can oppose their parents on social media. They can write anything they want to write because social media removed boundaries. And sometimes when you look at these things, it's just a dissenting opinion. 
Even on your Facebook page, there are people who will never comment on what you do. They will never like what you do. They will never, as long as it is you, they will never give an, a positive report. But the day there is an accusation against you, they will rise up to gang with other people. Not everybody in your circle waits for you to succeed, to clap for you. Some people are warming their hands to slap you. Because you need to understand that not every hand that is closer to you is building with you. Some people are with you, but they are stealing your blocks to build elsewhere. And these are the opposing spirits. When, when the man of God, Nehemiah, was told to build the wall, there was an opposing spirit. Sanballat and Tobias, they were opposing what he was doing. Because they, 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 it's a demonic entity that tries to, op, to stop everything you're doing. So he says, Woe unto them that call evil good and good evil, that put darkness for light and light for darkness. So they will hear you teach about something. They will hear you preach. They will hear God use you. They will even see. But they will say you are using demonic powers. They will say it, it, it doesn't work. You have coached people. And those people are there. You've seen them. You've heard them. People have even been paid money to even speak opposing opinions about servants of God just because they served in that church in a given period of time. And this is what you're talking about. That these are the opposing spirits. Then he says, these people were unto them because they put bitter for sweet and sweet for bitter. Look at the analogy of the scripture. One, they call evil good and good evil. They call darkness light and light darkness. They call bitter sweet and sweet bitter. Uh, sweet bitter. They are changing the good things and turning them to be the opposite. And the problem and the danger of our generation is this. People will believe falsehood very easily instead of believing the truth. I pray for you that you shall know the truth and the truth shall be your, your, your freedom. You shall know the truth and the truth, the truth. Remember, that scripture talks about Jesus. It's not just about words. Words are easy to come by. Jesus is the way, the truth. Hallelujah. You sh when you know Jesus, he will set you free. It is until you come to a realization, a standpoint, where your truth is Jesus. Where your truth is Jesus. Where you know and you know, I have hidden your word in my heart that I will never sin against you. That truth is able to liberate you from every kind of accusation, every kind of demonic names, every kind of forces that try to oppose and manipulate and fight your destiny. So in life we face oppositions and these things will come. But not all, all, not all opposition is defensive. Some oppositions are demonic and they're demonic because they're spiritual. I keep saying this, that life is very spiritual, children of God. Life is very spiritual. A hundred percent, life is spiritual. You need to rise above and beyond what, what you see and know that life is spiritual. The day you see life from the angle of a spiritual place, then you'll begin to realize not everything that happens to your life is as a coincidence. Everything that happens to you has a source and as a cause. Are we together? Are we together? Or are we together? Paul says in 1 Thessalonians chapter 2, verse number 18, I would have come to you, but, but Satan, we would have come unto you, even I, Paul, but one, once and again, but Satan opposed us. Satan opposed us. Opposition for anyone advancing the kingdom of God will always come from the pit of hell, the devil and his cohorts. So let us look at how these names uh, actually limit people. We have said names carry power, names carry identity, names carry the personality, names carry your integrity. That's why you will hear people say that Nimeribiwa Jina. Why? Because someone talked negatively about you and in the place of talking negatively about you, they actually misrepresented who you, who you are. This is so powerful because even God himself says for every idle word that comes out of your mouth, you'll be held accountable for it. This is so powerful that if the church comes to a place of realizing how powerful words are, how powerful words are, then you will never take life for granted. Praise be unto God's name. So, Names carry power, names carry personality, names carry your integrity, names carry your character. It is by your name, by your name, your character can be revealed. Kuna, kuna wase wame choma majina zao, so unapata, even at your place of work, why does your employer uh, look for your CV? Why do you have a referee, 
Actually, have you ever come to think of it? Why do you have a reference person, a referee at the top bottom of your CV, your, 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 you know, your curriculum vitae? Why do you have that referee? So that whoever wants to employ you, in case of any abnormally, any kind of character demeanor, they can call that referee to give them a testimony of who you are. The people of the world know these things, that I cannot just employ anybody without doing a due diligence and background research on who this person is. But the people of the kingdom take life very casually. We take life very casually. We take life very casually. And this is why many Christians uh, suffer, um, suffer the consequences of ignorance. Well, I grew up, my father used to tell me that if you think education is expensive, try ignorance. And until when we grew up and we began to take care of our families, raise our children, then we began to realize that when you saw your father come home in the evening and he's quiet, it was not a joke. There are things that people go through. But the background of this is just to let you understand that life is spiritual, all right? Life is spiritual. Your name carries the manifest, your manifestation and nature. There are places you can be referred and someone will tell you, go and tell them, I have sent you. And you go to that place, you will not go through the process. By the virtue that you have been sent by so and so, you get a front seat, you, you get a through pass. Because that person who sent you has a good reputation. His name proceeds even himself. The Bible says in the book of Proverbs, in the book of Proverbs, let me get that scripture. In the book of Proverbs chapter number, uh, Proverbs chapter number, Proverbs chapter number 22 verse 1. Uh, Proverbs 22 verse number 1. If someone can put up the scriptures for me, it will be easier for me. Uh, Proverbs chapter 22 verse number 1. The Bible says that a good name is to be chosen rather than great riches. A good name. A good name is to be chosen rather than riches. Let me tell you, if the devil will ever want to destroy any great man, he will destroy his name. That's what I'm calling an opposing spirit. We have read, I've, I've happened to, to read a number of books. I love reading. If you read some of the books of the great generals of faith, some of them actually fell because their names were dragged into mud. Their names were dragged into mud. Their names were dragged into, into scandals. Their names were dragged into into chaos. If the Lord does not help you to guard your name, you can lose fortunes. You can lose assets. You can lose connections. You can lose great things because the Bible says in Proverbs 22 verse number 1, a good name is rather to be chosen than great riches and loving favor rather than silver and gold because your name will open doors for favor. Your name can open doors for your name can open doors or close doors. Praise the name of the Lord Church. This is very critical. I want you to understand this because if you don't understand, the enemy will oppose you by your name. Glory be to Jesus. Glory be to Jesus. Now we we I want us to look at a number of scriptures here. I've exhausted many things in church, so go back and watch that service. But I will just speak from where I have left so that we can go very fast. We looked at Ruth chapter number 1, verse number 20. Naomi says, don't call me Naomi, call me Mara. Why? Call me a bitter woman because the Lord has dealt with me severely. Thank you for putting up the scriptures. It's helping me great, a great deal. So I'm able to go very fast. Uh, don't call me Naomi, call me Mara because God has dealt severely with me. In Genesis chapter 17 verse 4, God changes the name of Abram to Abraham before he tells him, I will bless you and I will multiply you, I will increase. God could never bless Abraham when he was still Abram because the name Abram meant an exalted father. But we know that God is the only exalted father. All right, you shall not have any other God beside me. So he said, I must change your name first, then I can be able to bless you. I pray for you right now. May the Lord change your name to fit the blessings that are coming upon your life this year. I'm speaking prophetically. I pray you catch this in your spirit. May the Lord change your name to fit the description or rather the blessing that is coming upon your life in this year. Someone say amen. 
we talked about a man called Koniah in Jeremiah 22 verse number 28 to 30. The, is this man Koniah a despised, a broken idol? He is a vessel wherein there is no pleasure. The name Koniah is a broken vessel. He is a man, a broken vessel. There is no, there is no, the Bible says there is no pleasure in this man. He is, in fact, it says, where, wherefore are they cast out? He and his seed are cast out and are cast into a land which they don't even know. And the Bible says, O earth, O earth, hear the word of the Lord. Thus says the Lord, Write ye this man childless. A man shall not prosper in his days. And for a man and his seed also shall not prosper. This is a man who, because of the name, his seed is cast out. Men who are watching this live stream, I pray for you. That your seed shall not be cast out. Your seed shall be prosperous. Your seed shall succeed. Wherever you will ever step, your seed will succeed. Kapuja gadabala deskada. That you will, your children and your children's children will, 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 will ride on the greatness of your name. In the name of Jesus. Praise the name of the Lord. We talked about this man called Nabal. His wife in verse number in, in verse number in verse number 25 of 1 Samuel 25 when when David sends his men to come and talk to Nabal and, and he, 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 he he speaks back to them telling them I don't want to deal have any dealings with you go back. In verse number 25 of 1 Samuel 25 the Bible says that when the wife came, the wife knelt down before David and said, Please let not my Lord regard this scoundrel Nabal. A wife of a man calls his husband a scoundrel. And just scoundrel ni nin. Scoundrel ni mtumshenzi, mtumjinga, foolish person. That this man has spoken the way he has spoken because he is foolish. And the second part of that, of, of 1 Samuel 25, 25 is what actually you know, blows my mind. The Bible says for us, his name is, so he is. The wife said, don't even think about this man. This is my husband. Ah, this is my husband. He's a scoundrel. For us, his name is, so he is. Nabal is his name. They, with him, there is folly. Yani unapata umeoa, you've married, but even your wife knows you're a scoundrel. May that never be your portion. These are the opposing and descending, descending spirits. So what will you ever do if even your household calls you a scoundrel? What will you ever do even if your own household calls you a foolish? As your name is, so you are. May the Lord remember mercy and change your name tonight. Hallelujah. So let me jump over to where I left this and then we can be able to close this we get into prayer <clears throat> and, and the Lord will help us hallelujah I left it at uh, 1 Samuel chapter 4 verse number 19 1 Samuel 4 19 1 Samuel chapter 4 verse number 19 to 22 now his daughter-in-law Phineas was with a child remember Hophni and Phineas the sons of Eli yeah we are talking about that story now so the daughter-in-law Phineas' wife was with the child due to be delivered. And when she heard the news that the ark of God was captured and that her father-in-law and her husband were dead. So the ark of God is captured. But in that, you know, that war and that thing. Thank you. And, uh, thank you, Ruth. In, in that war and that thing, she loses the father-in-law, she loses the husband. So she bowed herself and gave birth. For her labor pains came upon her. Now, this is what the Bible says. Her labor pains came uh, before her. Thank you for the scripture. Number 20. And about that time, her death, uh, at, at about the time of her death, the woman uh, of her death, the women who stood by her said to her, Do not fear, for you have borne a son. But she did not answer. Imagine you have carried a pregnancy for nine months at the point of delivery because of the news that you have received. 
your father-in-law is dead, your husband is dead, you are so devastated, and this woman now does not even regard the pregnancy that she has taken. She has gone, I mean, the, the period and the anticipation of I want to see my, my newborn child. The midwife tells her that, that don't fear, you will have, for you have born a son. Now the son, the child has come forth. But she did not answer. Nor did she regard it. That for her, she didn't even regard that child. She never even answered the midwife. All right? Like a normal mother would do, the moment you put to bed, you will be given the child and that pain will be suddenly, the pain will leave immediately and the joy comes. You know, you feel now, God, thank you for this baby. She did not even regard that child. But what did she do? She named, verse number 21, she named the child Ichabod, saying, the glory has departed. She named the child Ichabod. How do you name the child a departed glory? How do you name your child a departed glory? Power behind them. That means that child will never have glory on their life. That means that child will never enjoy the glory of God. That means that child will always be someone whose glory has diminished because the mother named the child glory has departed. Ichabod. My God. My God. Some of you have been given names by your people, by your family, by, by, your, by your mothers, by your fathers. Some of you are named by your grandmothers, by your grandparents. People that you probably even you'd never even live to see them. And they gave you names that have a very demonic attachment. Where I come from, people are named even, they are called stones. Lichina. Someone is called a stone. You can imagine. Someone is called a stone. Lichina. <laughs> How do you name your child a stone? And then if, 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 if they, they get to town and probably they, they begin to realize, gee, this name looks funny, they, they, they call themselves Tony. They call themselves Tony. Not the soda. Tony, which means stone. Just they make it look sweet. But you have not really dealt with the source, with the foundation, with the identity. Remember, your name carries your character, carries your personality. I pray for you this night that your name will change tonight. There's such an anointing building up upon my life right now. Your name will change tonight. The Lord will give you a new name. The Lord will give you a new name. He will cause your name to be turned into a new name. In the name of Jesus. She named the child Ichabod. Buana es wasifiu. What is the meaning of your name? Who gave you that name? May God change your name tonight. We were in church a few hours ago. I, when I got to home, I have not even changed. We are in our 40 days of, of, uh, of our 40 days of uh, festival of tongues. I've not even changed since I got home. And I've just been reminiscing in my spirit the, the, the thing that have happened in church. But you can be too anointed. You can, you actually, you can be serving God. You can be, you can, you, you can have the heart, but there's a limit to the much you can do because you have not dealt with foundations. You have not laid your foundations on Jesus. Let's look at, uh, at, at uh, Luke chapter 1, verse number 31. Luke chapter 1, verse number 31. Luke, 31, Luke 1, uh, 1, 31. Luke 1, 31. Are we there? Let me read it from my notes here. Listen very carefully. The Bible says, and behold, you will conceive in your womb and bring forth a son. This is angel Gabriel has been sent to a virgin girl in Bethlehem of Judea, a woman called Mary. 
and look at the conversation. Behold, you will conceive in your womb, or you will become pregnant and will give birth to a son, and you will call his name Jesus. God is so categorical about what he gives. Write that down. God is categorical about what he gives. Whatever God gives you, he names it. Whatever God gives you, he names it. Parents, listen to me. Mambo ya kuenda kunapata mtoto, unenda kwa Google. Unatafta jina ati, hii jina ni unique. Parents, listen to me. That this name is unique. I don't want my child. Listen, 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 listen to me. You can get a unique name. Nothing wrong with that. But what is the spirit behind the name that you are calling your child? Do you know that Satan, when he was in heaven, was called Lucifer? Lucifer, when he was dropped from heaven, the name Lucifer remained there. He was called the serpent of the old, Satan. Because the name Lucifer was a name of glory. There was no way Satan could have been dropped and retained the name of the heavens. What is the don't be so obsessed that I want to get a unique name. You want you want your child to be called I don't know what. Your child is not a chihuahua. Your child is not a chihuahua. Whatever God gives, he names it. Whatever God builds, he names it. <clears throat> so it tells Mary, that you will, you, will, you will conceive in your womb and bring forth a son and you will call his name Jesus. Verse 32. He will be great. Now, look at the name Jesus. This man, this child that he will conceive Jesus, one, he will be great. Number two, he will be called the son of God, the son of the highest. That is the son of Yahweh. That highest is Yahweh. And the Lord God will give him the throne of his father David. I don't want to go into the details about the alignment to the Davidic kingdom. I mean, to the to the, uh, the 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 Davidic lineage. But you all know from the days of Naomi and Ruth, there was an alignment to Boaz, and all that thing narrows down until it comes now to Jesse, comes down to David. Uh, I've rejected Saul, go to David, house, I've anointed a king, and all that narrows down to Jesus, so that the lineage of Jesus is a kingly lineage. Because the Old, the New Testament is a shadow of the Old Testament. And that's a whole theological debate I don't want to get into. But with what I've explained, you've understood, right? Okay. So he said, he will, he will give him the throne of his father, David, and he will reign over the house of Jacob forever. And his kingdom, and of his kingdom, there will be no end. Look at Jesus. The name is given. And this is the name that we look at on later, that above everything, we have been given the name of Jesus. Above every name, that at the mention of the name of Jesus, the great name, the, the, the highest name, when we mention that name, every knee must bow, every tongue must confess that indeed Jesus is Lord. The power behind the name. Demons tremble when we call on the name of Jesus. Sicknesses disappear when we call on the name of Jesus. What a mighty powerful name we have. That tells you how powerful names are. If you want to know how powerful names are, look at whatever God created in Genesis. Whatever he named them. Whatever he told Adam to name them, that is what they are to date. This is why I don't believe in the, in the culture and the syndrome of when somebody is sick, they begin to say, this is my sickness. The day you put my, you have owned it, you become sick. That we are poor. You are accepting poverty. You are naming it. Let me tell you, you as a believer, you are a syllable being. The day God created Adam and put him in the garden, the day he created that man, Adam, God never reported back to work. He rested. He told Adam, carry on. And whatever Adam named, that's what they became. There is so much power in namings and what you call your children. Some of you, because of the issues of life, you may talk a job, you may pick a hustle, you are so tired, you are worked up, you call your children dogs, you call them kichwangumu. Let me tell you, you are creating that in your child and don't, whatever you are sowing is what you will reap. For God is not a man to lie. 
Let's cross. Let us jump over to Luke 157 because of the interest of time. Luke 157. We have looked at one, Luke 131 to 33. When Mary has received the message and has been given the name, then the angel goes also to the cousin of Mary called Elizabeth. Elizabeth. And he says, now Elizabeth full time came for her to be delivered and she brought forth a son. When her neighbors and relatives heard how the Lord had shown great mercy to her, they rejoiced with her. Circumcision of John, then they, after they rejoiced, then there was the circumcision of John the Baptist. Verse 59. So it was on the eighth day that they came to circumcise the child. And they, and, and they would have called him by the name of his father, Zacharias. Now look at the, I'm talking about the opposing names. They wanted to call John Zachariah Jr. <laughs> they wanted to call John the Baptist Zechariah Jr. Nimandiko, in verse number 58, when her neighbors, uh, verse number 59, and they would have called him by the name of his father, Zacharias. Verse number 60, when his mother heard, when Elizabeth heard, that what wa uko, what wa uko, uko ya Zekaraya, venye mukipatanga watoto, what wa uko wanakuja, eh, shosho wanakuja, nani wanakuja, nothing wrong with that, the everybody rejoices at the coming on of a child, the community heard, and they came. So hii tabia watu kuja kuona mtoto, na kufanya kuombea mtoto, siju kukata nyuele, siju kufanya nini ya hii kuanza sahi. Bible. It was in the Bible days. But when the mother heard, she said in verse number 60, her mother, his mother answered and said, No, he shall be called John. Remember the name John was given also by the angel. Don't um, twist whatever God has called and you call it something else. God calls you blessed. Accept you are blessed. Even if your circumstances don't seem like blessings. And the problem we have is because the kind of gospel we have received over the years is that you are only blessed when you have money. Do you know there are people who will never accept their blessed if there's no money? Blessings. Money is just a manifestation of blessing. It is not the blessing. The fact that you're listening to me is, in fact, count it a blessing because, because you have life, you have breath, you have, you have the zoe, the breath of, the ruach, the breath of God in you. If this life leaves you, my friend, you are gone. Am I helping you? If I'm helping you, type, you're helping me, sir. Type there, you're helping me, sir, so I can be able to know I'm not here alone. So, as Elizabeth said, no, you will be called John. Verse number 61. But they said to her, the community, the family, family members, told Elizabeth, wait. They said to her, there is no one among your relatives who is called by, by this name. How can you, can you break the, the family pattern? Everybody is called Nekesa. We are named after Wanjiku. In our family, everybody is called Wanjiku. Who are you to come and break the pattern? Oh God. I wish you are being delivered. I wish your mind can open up the realities. Some of these names people are given, they, are, they have a very, very wrong attachment. Because some of these names were given from demonic altars. Imagine some of you are being named after your great, 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 great grandmother. The biggest witch in the community was your grandmother. What was the source of that name? That name is attached to an altar. Most of us African names are attached to deities and altars. How do I know? An altar is a place of sacrifice. An altar is a place where divinity meets humanity. An altar is a place of exchange. So as they take the child, they will bring gifts. And when they bring gifts, they would actually... Cry. Some some people when the child they will prick a child and blood will come out and then they will they will and they will chant. Some some people they will they will cut the hair of a child when I cut a newel, and then they'll pick that hair and go with it. 
you, you are happy, ah, God has given me a child, oh, oh, then a child gets to a certain age, they no longer listen to you, they are not controlled, every time they want to keep running to the village, nothing wrong with going, taking your kid to the village, I take my own there, they sit with their grandmother, they, they enjoy life in the village, it's the best place to actually raise children, according to me, I don't know about you, but according to me, uh, they have enough time to play in the mud and all those things. But some of you, them going to the village is because the altars in the village are claiming them back. Na wakienda ushago mpaka wapeleo kwa kanyumba kengine kwa mtu fulani waombewe. Semu mtoto lazima atakuwa pesa zake zote ni minta kuwa na, nakula. So mtoto na akipata job hivya kumbuki mzazi wake, anakumbuka watu wa ushago. Ajijengi mwenyewe, anajenga watu wengine. Haven't you seen that there are men who marry, but they build their in-laws homes when they don't even have. Nothing wrong with building your in-laws homes, but a wise man will build his home first. The Bible says a good man will leave an inheritance for his children. Unapata mtu wameenda, and I see these things online. Kajamaka mepata kasle kwa inapata on. Kasle kwa inka memkimbiza kimbiza kido kidogo ameenda mechukua loan. Amejengia parents wa inu, wa, kwa kina bibi yake uko. Amejenga, amejenga, amejenga. Kwao nyumbani nyumba ya baba yake inanguka chini. Ye mwenyewe ana hata, ana hata ka, ka cottage. We call it simba. Ana kale ka, ka lion. Kale ka nyumba koneza ingia for by the way. Ukipita uyuna. Akienda kwao analala kwa nyumba ya mama yake. Ama naomba malipakulala. Na amejenga a multi-million home in their in-laws. What was that? What was that spirit that led the man to do that? There's nothing wrong with building your in-laws homes. Build. Build. But let me tell you, don't be foolish. Build your home first. You are a man. Build your home. Some of you, you get, because these are names. These are names that are, kuna watu wanaitua. Ulienda uka, uka, uka initiatiwa kwa vitu ambazo ujui. So wakati umefika that peak, everything you work for is being taken to buy by some other people. Oh my God. Kapala deskata. The Bible says there is, they told her, there is no one among your relatives who is called by this name. Hakuna mtu wa meitua ijina. Hu umetua ijina wapi? Umetua ijina wapi? Sisi kama watu wa njuri ncheke. Sisi kama watu wa kumira, kumira. Siju kama ni nini by the way. Sisi kama watu wa, siju nini hizo. We will not accept. You must name this child after our great grandfather. He was the biggest witch. He was seeing things before even they happened. You must name the child after this. And because you don't know scriptures, you accept. You name your child after a dead man. I declare in the name of Jesus tonight, your eyes are opening and your blessings will not be manipulated. Your glory will shine. Whatever God has ordained for you will come to pass. Someone shout amen. Someone say amen. Someone say amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. What is what is the, 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 the what is the mystery behind your name? What is the mystery behind your name? Someone say amen. Hallelujah. So they made signs to his father what he would be called. I know the scripture says in Isaiah chapter number 8 verse 18 that here I am and the children whom the Lord has given me we are for signs and wonders in Nairobi. We are for signs and wonders in our villages where we come from. We are for signs and wonders in the marketplace, in the ministry. Whatever we touch, I declare over you and your household, whatever you touch, they are for signs and wonders. I think I've seen my brother, Reverend Isaac here. Go to see a man of God. Whatever God has given us with our biological children, with our spiritual sons and daughters, we are for signs and wonders. Someone declare I am for signs and wonder. Someone declare I am for sign and wonder. Isaiah chapter, chapter 8 verse 18. For, from the Lord of hosts who dwells in, Zion, in the Mount Zion. Yes, thank you. Whatever the Lord has given us, we declare tonight. Every name that is against 
us manifesting in signs and wonders. It is hereby broken by the power in the name of Jesus. We break now every name that you are given, every name that limits you, every name that destroys you, every name that fights your children's success. We declare tonight in the name of Jesus. Let it be broken now in the name of Jesus. E paruza gadabaleskata. We are for signs and wonders. This is why you need to understand. What you say concerning... The, listen. Kuna watu amba unapata wa kwa nyumba za... Um, you know, uh, probably single mothers. Nothing wrong with that. I honor, I respect, I respect every single mother. You are blessed. You are a strong woman. You are a very strong woman. But let me tell you. You must contend with that spirit. Because if you don't contend with it, utapata iyo kiroho kita kuingia kwa watoto wako. I believe the scripture is very clear. None of us will lack a mate. So regardless of what it is, you, you God has to, there is someone God has prepared for you. And those who are married, contend for the gates of your marriage. Grass is always greener where it is watered. Utaod, umelisha bibi yako ame, 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 anakapoa. Eh, kajama kanangoja. Tae bibi yako anakapoa ni nakuja kumanifest. Ni aje mrembo. Hey, God punish the devil, Satan. Mutu anangoja umelisha bibi yako ame nona, ame ka vizuri, anaka mrembo. Eh, alafu mutu anakuja na kwa inbox ya bibi yako anaza kukwambia. I, I, I think I can marry you. Where was that person when they... Get cheered. If you don't contend for the gates of your marriage, you will find that spirit, the names that you that you have will begin to trickle down to your children. Let's look at a number of things. Maybe I know more about Luya and, and Luo. We look at names. There are people called Ondiek. Ondiek. Wewe ni mkisi unaito Ondiek. You know what Ondiek means? Ondiek ni fisi. Riso wakabisa ndugu yangu. Riso, yu mapepo ishindwe. Ah! You give birth to it. Unabeba mimba miezitisa. Only for you to give birth and call a child ondiek. Ondiek. Ondiek, fisi. Kajamaka na fika taon. Ameokoka ako church lakini... Hawezi to shake, ameoa, lakini hawezi to shake na bibi yake. Every lady passing in church, every lady passing on the streets, macho tu, macho tu. Wanakula mpaka na mdoma. Because you are given a name of a glutton animal. Fisi. Called on diek. That name is opposing you. You want to live right, but that spirit is just hovering on you. I told you names carry personalities. Names carry identities. That's why God says in the book of Exodus, uh, Exodus chapter number, uh, he says in Exodus chapter number 20 verse number 7, even God himself is jealous about his own name. Do not call the name of the Lord your God in vain, for he will not hold you guiltless, you who take his name in vain. How do you call your child on Diek? How do you call your child Muriuki? The one who resurrects. You open a business, it dies. It resurrects. It dies. Well, Today, may, may every demonic name you are given without your knowledge, may it catch fire. May, may every powers behind those names be demolished tonight. In the name of Jesus. May those names that you are given by people that died. And they were witches and sorcerers and they named you after them. May whatever power those names carry under the mighty power of the name of Jesus. May every name that is negative be demolished tonight in the name of Jesus. Oh God. Oh God. Someone is calling their child Japiti. 
Japiti. That's Kijaluo. Japiti is a night runner. That's what the name means. A night runner. How do you even call a child a night runner? Because your grandfather was called Japiti. He used to run in the village. People know that he boma in a wanga boma ya watu wakukimbia. So everyone in that family is called Japiti. Night runner. Those people who, who knock your doors, you get out, you can't see them. Demonic names. You get to the city. Uku kuna mata. So wezi kimbia usiku. What do you do? You begin to be a night owl. Kazi yako ni kuenda kwa malandi za watu kipiga milango kikimbia. Kipiga milango kikimbia. Kwanza kwa malandi, unaingia unapiga milango, unatoka mbio. Unapiga milango, unatoka mbio. Kwa sababu, iyo roo inakudai. Hey, tonight every demonic name must detach from you. Every name of the location that you come from, that is demonic. I was given example in church. On, our, on your way to, to Homer Bay, there is a place called Ochoto Dome. That means a prostitute has lived, has, has, stayed, has, 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 has stayed here. A whole town called Ochoto Dome. A prostitute has stayed here. That's the meaning. You, you imagine you live in an environment called Ochot. And you think you will thrive. If you don't have a strong prayer life, you will end up being an immoral person. Look at what's happening. Today, unapata msichana metoka nyumbani, batalipewa jinambaya, anafika town, anakuwa call girl. Haven't you seen today that our children, young girls, are taking pride in being, uh, what do you call them? These people who shake their behinds. Ah, the name is going. You, your mother took you to school, primary, secondary school, high, uh, I mean high school, university. Only for you to become a person that shakes their behind. At worker. Una muschana kwa anafanya interview kwa kwa TV. Una muliza, she's being asked, what do you do for a living? A, a, as a university graduate is saying, I am a twerker. I am a twerker. How do you become a twerker? Twerkers. How do you become a twerker? You know that? Look at your last name. Maybe that name is what is pushing you there. You are named after someone who was a, 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 a village champion of sleeping with men. Hata kanisani umekuja kwa ibada, tunabudu mungu tu kizuru, wewe kutu hivi huko nyuma, yani wezi abudu mungu na dekora. Juka roo kame kuingia. Ndiyo unapita mbele ya mapasta hivi. Umeinua nini hivi? Unapita. Let me tell you, fight that spirit. Fight that spirit. What, what is the name you are, mentioned, you are called after? Yours is just to make brothers fall. Even when they don't want to stand, they just stand because now you, they, they, they put their hands in the pocket because you are just a distraction. God punish the devil. You must be delivered in the name of Jesus. Paul says, I write to you so that you can know how to conduct yourself in the house of God. You must know how to conduct yourself in the house of God. You must know how to conduct... I see parents today who actually, they train their children to behave funny. I've just been watching a, a, a documentary here. A seven-year-old child, I've been watching it here. A seven-year-old child is, someone is, uh, someone is, is, is called for an interview and, and they sit down there and they, 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 they wanna katiana. And then this one says, can I call your daughter? So they call the daughter. And then the daughter, a, a seven-year-old child, is telling the man, are you rich? What can you offer my mother? My mother cannot date poor people. A seven-year-old child. Nimeenda kutapata jina weo mtu ya muisho nikastuka. Names can oppose your greatness. Wengine wana ingia kanisani? You want to make God fall. Where? Mungu is fall. 
There are people who are called very funny names. Eh? What does it that even mean? Eh? Nambenjere. Nyasuguta. What do those names mean? You are called after names you do you don't even know meanings. Alafu wewe pia kapepo kamekuingia tu. Juju jina yako ni mbaya, unafika town, you even change it to us. Super diva. Una change kwa Facebook super diva. Do you know what a diva is? A diva is a goddess. So you 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 you, you are coming from Simonjero and then you are coming to super diva. You you actually amplifying the demons behind the name Simonjero. Smallness. You will always be a Simonjero. Like a small thing. You will never grow. You will always be a small thing. You are named Wanjira or Wanjira. A road word. When you are going to go to the road. If you are going to date, you are going to date, you are going to date, you are going to date. Na ikiye na mbaya zaidi muna kufanya kitu kwa barabara na hata ujuu mtu kwao. Wakati umesha pata ball, diyo sasa unanza, ku, unanza kusumbua. Who, who, who is the, where, where is the home of this man who gave me bele? A man cannot even walk to your home because your name itself imemuzuia kukuja kwenu kusema nataka huu msiani muoe. Ana kudetia kwa barabara. Opposing names. Opposing names. Demonic names. May the Lord deliver you tonight. May the Lord deliver you tonight. Someone is called Makongolo. Any lawyer here, what does Makongolo mean? Any lawyer here, what does Makongolo mean? Imagine you, you, you carry a child for nine months only for you to deliver and then you call a child Makongolo. This is our, 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 this is our, this is our, 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 our maiden name. Ini jina familia ya uko. Iyo uko, mtu mention ni 10th generation. Uko ju. We hata uko wae mjua, hata uta, hata wezi. In fact, makongolo. Ah. The Lord. Now, the Bible says this. When you change that name, this is what the Bible says in the book of Isaiah, chapter 60, verse 11. Your gates will stay open day and night. Some of people, their doors have been closed because their names, their names are landlocked. Jina yako ni unaitua lichina. Mawe. Hata ukiwezi upasuliwa. So ukipatata job, wezi hata succeed. You are just a stone. Ata church pastor na ubiri, we uko unafungua gazeti, unaweka migugu hivi, ama unaingia Facebook, na umeingia church, uko Facebook, juu wewe ni lichina, kichwa, mawe. May God deliver you from every demonic and diabolic names. The Bible says your gates will stay open day and night to receive wealth of many lands. You, you see, wealth is a spirit. Ha! Ah, your gates will be open continually. They shall not be shut day and night. That men may bring to you, that men may bring to you the wealth of the nations and their kings led in procession, your voluntary captives. Mungu atakufungua milango, lakini jina yako. God says, I want to bless Lichina. <laughs> How can I bless a stone? This one is a stone. So Mungu anasema, badilisha jina. Badilisha jina ndio ni kubariki. Wengine watoto, there's a, a lady who came some time back last year, when we were in Jogoro, uh, last year, uh, two years ago when we were in town, brought a, a child, and I look at this child, I say, wow, what a, what a beautiful baby. Until she told me the name, I told her no. Mm -mm. This child, you need to change this name. 
you need to change this name. How can millennials, millennial parents, a, a mother brings a child, mimi ni kuandike kwa birth, I mean, dedication certificate, at a diva, mtuto nituwa diva, diva, and then another name, yeah? diva, Lucia, and then you put the village name, which is even worse. I told you, there are people who parents, your parent had the name Lucifer. Akaone jina ni, 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 ni mzuri. Aka ikishote na akaita Lucy. Lucy. So wewe unafikiria ni, 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 ni jina mzuri, jina yako ni Lucy mzuri, kume ni Lucifer. Umetua Nebukadineza, unapunguza jina nakuwa Nebu. No wanda unakulanga tu nyasi. Wewe kwa hako ni, ni skuma tu, hakuna nyama. Hakuna samaki. Ni nyasi unakula tu. Greens. Nothing wrong with eating that. But could that be a spirit that limits you? Ati mimi ni kwa logic ni kikula nyama na furafura. Ulisikia wapi? The Bible says receive everything with thanksgiving. Kuja tu kuombe ukule chakula mzuri. Ati ni kikula nyama na, 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 na fura boil. Kumbe jina yako ni nebu nebu kadines ah he says foreigners will be your servants and their sons they will feed your flocks and plow your fields and tend your vineyard you will be called priests of the lord ministers of our god you will feed on the treasures of the nations and boast of their riches instead of shame and dishonor which comes by the name that's Isaiah 61 verse 5 to 7 instead of shame and dishonor you will enjoy a double share of honor you will possess a double portion of prosperity in your land i declare tonight when that name of negativity that opposing name is lifted you will possess a double portion of prosperity in your land and everlasting joy will be yours in the name of jesus let every wicked name be, be, be broken tonight hallelujah hallelujah glory to jesus glory to jesus i want us to pray i want us to pray I want us to pray. Names. Names that limit men. Any opposition that you've been encountering in your life. You know, sometimes we cast, people come and tell you, Pastor, pray for me. I'm going through this and this. I'm going through blah, 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 blah. But if you look at them, honestly speaking, these people are committed to God. Everything they're doing right. But there is just a limit that has been put on their heads. There is a, a doctor back in the village, the one who was taking care of my dad. And people used to call him a juaga. You know, a juaga is actually uh, a coined name from Luo that means, uh, that means a medicine man. A medicine man. But a juaga in the literal raw Luo, um, Luo word is a witch. The juok. So it's a juoga. So every time people used to go to see this man, they called him, they used to call him a juoga. A juoga, juoga. There's this thing when I see a gata, what I want to hang a lot of manga, juogi. Juogi koro woyo. Any such a manchester is on my people, is on my satan, is on my spirits are now speaking. Those of you who listen to Prince Inda, you can hear them say that. Juogi, juogi woyo. The spirit, the demonic powers that speak. Those of you listen to, 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 to those songs, meaning they delivered from those things, Kitambo. I'm just a man who loves tracing my roots and tra tracing, digging deep into cultures to know a few things. So when you used to go to this guy, one day I asked him a question, why do people call you that name? He said, but that's what we do. I mean, you know, you people, young people, you have been born yesterday. I I told, I told that man, can I just maybe talk to you for a few minutes? And my dad was there. And I told him, you see, very soon, very, very soon, you will end up being a, a man who treats from the, from, the, from the forest. 
It didn't take long. This is a true story. It didn't take long. The man began to advertise more of Mitishamba than the, you know, the conventional medicine. As we speak now, he runs a full-fledged Mitishamba uh, hospital. He's become a real ajuoga, a real ajuoga, a real witch doctor. Because of the names that people kept calling. What you name, you rule. What you name, you become. So I want us to pray. The Bible says in James chapter 4, verse number 7 to 10, it says, James chapter 4, verse number 7 to 10, Submit yourselves therefore be to God. Submit yourself to God. Submit yourself. This is how you're going to, to pray. I said I'll give the pointers now to pray. Submit yourself to God. There is nothing that you cannot do without God helping you. I told you life is very spiritual. There is nothing that you cannot do if God does not help you. One, submit yourself to God. Resist the devil and he will flee from you. Resist that name. Resist the power behind that name. Resist every opposition that comes to that name. Resist it and that name, that power behind that name will live your life. Then he says now, draw near to God and he will draw near to you. Cleanse your hands. Cleanse your hands and purify your hearts. You double-minded. Oh, so... Prophet amesema hivi lakini ni sasa mimi mimi kwetu naitwa 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 eh, okuponi sasa nitatuachaje hii jina na hii jina ndio iko kwa documents zangu ndio kwa vitu zangu how comes let me don't be double minded listen the bible says in john that john 3:17 that if you blessed shall you be if you hear and do what the lord is speaking to you about this is not just me speaking i'm teaching you what I've done in my I can never teach what I've not done in my own life. I cannot teach you what I've not practiced. I will be I'll be lying to you. I cannot give you a teaching that I've not benefited from. I don't go to just subscribe to somewhere and I take time to study. I take time to implement and I see it work and I teach. That's the difference between a motivational speaker and a preacher. Then he says, number two, you double-minded, purify your heart. You double-minded people. Be, purify your mind, your heart. Then he says, let your laughter be turned into, uh, sorry, the verse number 10, then he says there, humble yourself in the sight of the Lord and he will lift you up. He will take you out of every captivity. He will take you out of every bondage. Whatever name you've been given, whatever name you've been called that has been a captive to you, whatever name that has been a captive, a, pun a place where the enemy takes advantage to punch holes into your spirit, the Lord says, he will lift you from that hole in the name of Jesus. I want us to pray. I want us to pray. Oh, Kayada Bagadiska. Psalms 27, 24, verse number 7 to 10. It says, lift up your heads, O ye gates. Be and be and be ye lifted up, you everlasting doors. What are these everlasting doors? What are these, uh, what are these uh, everlasting doors? These are the names you've been given. Names that transcend beyond you. Ulipewa jina babu ya babu ya babu ya babu. Kwa sababu kwenu kila mtu lazima anemiwa after shosho. Lazima kila mtu ananimiwa after shosho. Na yosho shosho unanimiwa after ye. Hata ukiangalia vizuri. Ukiangalia tu vizuri kwa macho wa mwanadamu. Ukiangalia tu vizuri mtu menemiwa after ye. You cannot even wish to be named after that person. Kuna mtu zingina zitaji kukua kiroo sana. Uo menemiwa after mtu mwenye. Ukienda nyumbani. Hata ukimuangalia tu wewe ukiona tu. Unasema enyewe mimi istaki hata kunemiwa after uyo mtu. Lakini kwa sababu tradition ime. Wewe ni wewe kuna utamaduni mingi. You are so traditional. Tumeshikilia mila hivi. Tuwezi wachilia mila. Mati mwacha mila ni mtumwa. Okay, shikilia mila basa. Kama mila ni mzuri, shikilia mila. Mimi sija kuja kuwaribu wache mambo enu. But I'm telling you that he that the son of God sets free is free indeed. There is no way a curse can hold you when you stand by the virtues and the values of God. You wonder why Everybody named after that name, they don't get married. Kuna familia ziko hivo. Anybody named after a certain personality, they don't get married. 
they don't get children. Because that person swore by herself, said, anyone will be named after me. They will never, they will never succeed beyond me. So misfortunes are following misfortunes after misfortunes. You're trying to get out of it. You can't get out of it because the enemy is Today you are being freed in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Let those gates be lifted. Lord, let those ancient names, let those demonic names be lifted. Then when they're lifted, what will happen? The king of glory will come in. Who is this king of glory? Who is this king of glory? The Lord strong and mighty. The one that is able to break every family curse. The one that is able to break every attachment to the, every power attached to that name. May you be freed in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. He is the Lord mighty in battle. You are not going to fight this battle. God says, I will fight for you. He will fight for you. Lift up your heads all you get. Even lift them up. You everlasting doors. And the king of glory shall come in. The Lord of hosts is the king of glory. Selah. Then Philippians 2, 9, verse number 2, verse number 9 to 11 says what? Therefore, God has also has highly exalted him and given him the name which is above every name. This is the name we have. The only name that God has given us is the name of Jesus. He says he has given us this name above every name. That at the name of Jesus Christ, every knee should bow. Whatever name you've been given, I command the name of Jesus above that name. Every demonic name that you are given, may the name of Jesus overshadow that name. Overshadow the powers behind that name. Overshadow every altar attached to that name. Every knee will bow. Now watch this. Of those in heaven, of those on earth, of those under the earth. Okay, watch this, watch this, watch this. If you are named after a person that went to the grave, even that name will bow, even those under the earth. That name has no power over you. Come when you are named after so and so. Every year, you are so and so. Every year, you are named after so and so. Every year, you are named after Babu. Wapatane, utoe pesa, mwene mfanya makumbusho, to appease the dead. The, the name of Jesus is breaking all those traditions. The name of Jesus is breaking all those powers. All those evil spirits is breaking them. Under the earth, and that every tongue will confess that Jesus is Lord, to the glory of God, our Father. Hallelujah. 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 Can we take a few minutes and pray as we close? Now you know that you have a name above every name. Let's take a few minutes and pray. Zakapa la desketa. Reba shakata la badia. Mazuka tapa la deskata rinos kapa. Le pazoto shakata. Le puraze katayamandos kata. Father, in the name of Jesus, tonight we take hold and we take hold of the names, the names that you are given, names of men that we never knew, names of women that we never knew, names that carry powers that we never knew. Today, by the power of the name of Jesus, you have told us in Philippians chapter 2, verse number 9 to 11, that we have a name above every name, name above my names, name above every ancestral name. The names that were given to me that do not glorify you. Names that don't even give glory to your name. La Koshata, Liparunos Kataya. Father, tonight we subject every demonic name. We subject every power behind every demonic name. We subject it under our feet now. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, we break every name. We break every attachment to every demonic name. We break every attachment to every satanic name. We break every attachment to every altar that was lifted by men. That was lifted by men. Kazu gataya. Liparunos kataya. Le kapo shata. Liparus kataya. Le kando sata. Le prazo kata. E paruna sapela. Zato shataya. Le kapo shata. 
Shakata in the name of Jesus. Let every name that I was given that is not in line either as a nickname, either as a name on my identification documents, either as a name La Shakaya that does not align to my prophetic destiny. Let that name be scattered. Let that the power behind that name be scattered. I lay a proper foundation to every name. I lay a proper foundation to every name that limits men. I lay a proper foundation to every child who has been named after people that they know nothing about. Father Lord, you have told us that our children will be for signs and wonders. I pray tonight we claim, we claim that destiny of our children from every demonic altar, from every satanic altar, from every names that don't give you glory. We, Father, we detach them. We detach them now. We detach them now. We detach our children from every names that at Kaposha Kata, Leparus Kapela, Masomba Kataya, Leprades Kata, Li Kaposha Taya, Mesaporia, every name, La Casabadela, Masombra Kada, every name that our children were given, oh Father. Zaka pala bes kata li parunos kataya e santo le kapia li prazundo lokosha le prades kata names that people were given in circumcision moments names that people were given in circumcisions la kapos kata that limit them from being great men zaka shataya we trash them now we trash them now we trash them now we trash them now in the name of Jesus names that are given to people when they were dying father lord tonight 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 let those names be broken 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 let those names be broken, names be broken. Names be broken. in the name of jesus pasada labadeska maruba shakapela reba katala bagada let us look at genesis Genesis, just one scripture, and we pray with that scripture. Genesis chapter number 35, verse 16. I want us to pray with that scripture, and then we'll, we'll close. We'll close. Oh God, I feel the power. Genesis 35, 16 to 18. If somebody is watching me right now and you have a stomach problem, is there anybody who has a as unasikia kama mtumbo inauma right now just right now in this live stream is there anybody who was is having stomach pains tika unasikia tumbo inashika moto na inauma can i just know just just notify me there as i as i read this scripture genesis 35 35:16 to 18 the bible says then they they journeyed from bethel bethel is the name of an altar and and when they and when there was but a little distance to go to Ephrath, Rachel labored in childbirth, and she had a hard labor. And it came to pass when she was in hard labor that the midwife said to her, Do not fear, do not fear, do not fear. You will have this son also. You remember Rachel was the wife of Jacob, and 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 uh, she is in labor here, and it was so. As her soul was departing, mm. as her soul was departing, that means she was dying. The Bible says actually she died. That she called the name of this child, child that she was having, Benoni. She called the child Benoni. But when the father heard that she is dead and she has called the son Benoni, Benoni means a son of sorrow. Imagine someone is dying and they call your name. They call you a name in their deathbed. They call you the, the sorrow they are seeing in their death. When the father heard that that was the name, the Bible says his father called him Benjamin, which means the son of my right hand. And you will agree with me later on, Benjamin and Joseph become the father's favorite children. Someone, this is someone called Lavi Asi. Lavi Atsi or Sasi. Yes, my stomach has pains that come and go. We are going to pray for you right now because I feel that 
We're going to pray for you right now. And healing streams are going to locate you right now because I felt that in my spirit, there's someone who is struggling with, with, with uh, uh, pain in the stomach. But let's, let's, uh, we're going to pray for you right now. Lavi, that's Lavi. I don't know, is this Lavinia? I don't know. I, I can't see your profile picture, so I can't tell. Now listen, the Bible says, the Bible says that the mother named the child Sorrow. This is the same thing that happened to, to Jabez. Jabez, Father, if you change my name, I am a great man, but change my name. Change my name from this misery. Change my name from this sorrow. Because he, every time Jabez wanted to succeed, the name was pulling him down. Opposing names. Opposing names. They always were pulling him down. Kapusha gadabala deskata. The father changed the name to Benjamin from sorrow to a son of my right hand. What's the right hand does? The right hand is the right hand, is the hand that blesses. You will, if you if you're a Bible scholar, you know that at some point the hands were exchanged upon Ephraim. The right hand. Mkono wakume ni mkono wakubariki. Baba kasema apana. Siwezi kubali mtoto wangu wa itwe. Aitwe nani? Aitwe mwana wa, wa, wa kilio, a son of sorrow. I refuse. I will change the name to Benjamin, a son of my right hand. I want you to pray. One last prayer. That Father Lord, every name that I was given, that carries sorrow, that carries pain, that carries misfortune, today I stand by your word. I change my name from sorrow to blessings. I change my name from pain to happiness. I change my name from lack to success. I change my name from sickness to health. You have the power to command and decree. The Bible says you shall declare a thing. It shall be established. As you declare tonight, I touch and agree with you that your name is changing. Your identity is changing. Whatever name you are given, names that, that, that limit men, names that make people become miserable, names that make people cry, names that make people die prematurely. It is not our portion. It is not your portion tonight. Let every demonic name catch fire. Let every demonic name be dismantled now. I call the name of Jesus above every name I was given. I call the name of Jesus above every name I was given. I dedicate the name. Oh, Kaposha Taya. I dedicate the name. Eh, Sarabo Kataya. Li Parunos Kataya. I declare tonight every name I was given that is not in line with, the, with my destiny. Let the power behind that name break now in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Someone say amen. Someone say amen. Someone say amen. We have come to the end. At your own time, go and read First Chronicles chapter 4, verse number 10, 4, 9, to, 4, 9 and 10. The prayer of Jabez. And tonight, take time and pray with that prayer. Even as we go offline, take time and pray with, the, with, that, with that scripture. First Chronicles chapter 4, verse number 9 and 10. The Bible says there was a man named Jabez, which means sorrowful, who was more honorable than any of his brothers. Imagine you can be, you can be honorable than your brothers, but your name can limit you. Jabez was honorable because his birth had been painful. The mother named him Jabez. He was the one who prayed to the God of Israel. Tonight you're going to pray to the God of Israel, to the God that you serve, to the living God. You're going to pray to that God. He said, oh, that you will bless me and expand my territory. Please be with me in all that I do and keep me from trouble and pain. Why did he make that prayer? Because his mother called him Jabez, a man of pain. He said, father, I am honorable. I, I do things, but my name has constantly kept me in trouble and pain. Your name has constantly kept you in trouble and pain. You can be honorable, but your name can constantly put you in trouble and pain. As was the case of Jabez. At some point, said, Father, change my name. Enough is enough. I'm not taking it anymore. It ends today. I will no longer struggle. I will no longer go through pain because of the things that have constantly been attacking me. My name is changing from Jabez to beautiful. 
from pain to happiness in Jesus' name. I pray for you, Lavinia, that stomach pain. I believe right now it's going off in the name of Jesus. And anybody else who is sick, I command whatever pain you are undergoing now to cease now, right now, right now, right now. Hold your belly. I command healing. I command healing. I command healing. I command healing. Let the healing grace and the healing virtue of God locate you now in Jesus' name. Somebody say amen. Glory to Jesus. We've come to the end of our service. Have you been blessed? Have you been blessed? Let me know if you've been blessed. Just let me know in the comment there if you've been blessed. Have you, have you, have you been enlightened? Has your understanding been enlightened? If that is the case, just let me know in the comment section. God bless you. Yes, Ruth Adek says yes. Lavin says yes. Hussein says yes. God bless you. God bless you. Whatever name you are given has no power over you. Begin to continue to proclaim the name of Jesus above those names. And you will testify in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you. We are continuing with our 96-hour prayer thorn. We began on Thursday. Uh, there are people camping in church now. Uh, there are people praying. Uh, I'm also just holding camp here. I had to rush home and attend to a few things. But we are praying. Amen. I'm already healed and blessed. Someone praise the Lord for that. She says she's just been healed. She's just been healed and blessed. Glory to God. Instant healing. In the grace is too much. Let it flow in Jesus' name. The grace is flowing. Uh, so I want you to understand God is in the business of doing what only he can do. It is not in vain to serve the Lord. And whatever you are asking God for tonight, it has been released to you in the name of Jesus. I bless you. I bless you this coming Sunday. Uh, we're going to be having a very powerful service. Please participate. Be part of us. Join us. We're in Umoja, Inako. Um, if you have any personal issue, any personal issue, or maybe you, your name, you feel, Pastor, I have a name. 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 I have Please just inbox me. We will we'll be able to help you. We'll guide you to church. And we'll be able to pray with you and help you going forward by the grace of God. Otherwise, I love you all the love of God. Keep the faith. I commend you to the grace of God and to the power of his might. Whatever has not worked before, I declare now it begins to work in Jesus' name. Somebody say amen. Glory to God. Asante sana mungu wa bariki sana. If you want to give an offering, feel free. Free will giving. Uh, uh, the, the, the giving details are right um, on uh, on the you know the description of this of this video because we're not using the machine so we're not able to to broadcast it here. But please uh, make sure that you if you wanna give to the Lord, go ahead and give to the Lord, um, and you shall be blessed in Jesus' name. Mungu sana. I'm looking forward to see you guys uh, in church on Sunday to the glory and honor of God's name. My name is Prophet Steve. God bless you. Shalom. Amen. Out of my belly shall flow rivers, rivers of living water. Bye-bye. Yeah, yeah, yeah.